Hey, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? Say hello when you come rolling in, please. Uh, this is Kelly Weiler here at Girl Upcycled Studio. My studio is located in Zanesville, Ohio. We are just about an hour east of Columbus for those of you that are close enough to come by. We are open to the public on Fridays and Saturdays from noon until 6 p.m. And every first Friday of the month, we actually have a gallery hop here in our town. And we're always open for that as well. So, um, oops, say hello when you come rolling in. Got a couple of things popping up here. Um, so if you happen to be around our town, hello, how are you, Christy? If you happen to be around our town on the first Friday of the month, you can take part in the gallery hop. All of the local businesses and galleries and studios and restaurants that are in the downtown and then across the bridge, which is where I'm located in the historic Putnam district, um, we're all open and it's a great night to be out and about in the town. So hi, Derek. How are you? Good to see everybody. Hello. Hello. So hi, Judy. It was so nice to see you today, Judy. Um, so I thought I would just go live and I'm just going to do a quick little painting using the DIY paint because the DIY paint is so yummy and thick because it has clay in it. It's clay based um, and it is perfect for the technique that I want to do, which is painting on screen. Um, I do, I love to paint on screen. They're very simple paintings when I paint on screen. Um, but they're, they're fun, they're thick layered, and I thought I would do a little fall themed. Um, I think I'm going to do just like a little, maybe a little wreath or something like that. Um, and this is just a 12 by 12 screen canvas. You may be able, hi Athena, you may be able to find these, um, I don't know if they have them on Amazon, but you guys, if you cannot find them, because sometimes they're hard to find. Um, I bought a batch that were on clearance. And so I have a whole stack of them that I, that I just kind of keep on hand and I like to keep them in store here um, to use, but you can just get an old frame and you can get the screen. This is just real small, um, thin like fly screen that goes on your, um, like your screen door. And then you're just going to staple it to your frame, voila, you have a screen canvas. Can't find screens anywhere, says Judy. I know, I think I bought them all out of Hobby Lobby locally, but you know, I could have given you one. You were here today, I would have totally given you one. <laughs> Anyway, gang, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I know it's kind of weird thinking about fall already, isn't it? But I mean, honestly, it is right. It's just right around the corner. So um, I'm going to use um, all of the fall colors. Um, and I think for starters, I think I'm going to use just a really light, I'm going to use aviary, I think, just to kind of get my first little circle on there. And we'll put a few um, green leaves in, but I am going to do some colored leaves. Um, me too. I have some. Oh, you, you bought them out too, huh? Okay. Like I said, it's just a 12 by 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to think about um, if I'm building a wreath, right? I want room on each side of my circle to build from, right? So I'm going to just kind of pencil in, or I'm not actually penciling, I'm painting. Um, I'm going to start with my four points, and then I'm going to kind of fill in like this. So now we have a little bit of, can you see my circle? A little bit of a circle. It doesn't need to be this perfect kind of circle by any means, but it just gives us a base to start from. And this was the color aviary that I've used. 
So you can see the circle that I've put on here. I have plenty of room on each side of the circle to build from, right? So I think I'm just going to sporadically start adding green leaves. And I'm wondering, right now as I'm looking at it, I may want to go just a tad bit darker. And I think I'm going to, but it's start darker and then go lighter as I come forward. So, so let me find a darker green. Actually, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go bohemian. I have one already open. Monet's garden might work though. Okay, I'm changing my mind. Right, let's go Monet's garden. It's a nice deep green and then I can put it on there pretty thick. And I'm just kind of swishing it around, needless to say. Um, when you think of leaves, they have some points to them. And they also have some rounded edges. So I'm just kind of loosely going in. Right now, I'm not too worried about getting anything exactly to look exactly the way I want it as far as... Um, a distinct leaf shape, like if we're going for a maple leaf or whatnot, we're not going for that look, or at least I'm not. I'm just going in and I'm adding a little bit of color for my base, okay? The paint is good also, you guys, if... Um, if you want to build layers because of the thickness of it, okay? And I usually wait and paint my frame when I'm done. And that way I can either stain it or I can paint it accordingly, you know, kind of following the shape around same direction you notice I'm going around this way so all of my leaves will kind of have that flow um let's see Athena says I suck I love from Illinois because that's where I live but right now I'm watching you from Italy my goodness what are you doing there are you on vacation it's wonderful I hope you're having a nice time and everything's good and safe and all the things right And I, you'll notice I have the white canvas back behind me. That is just simply because I want you to be able to see the movements that I'm making right now. All right. So there we have a little bit of filler already placed right in there. So... Um, so that's going to be kind of where I'm going to build from. And from there, I'm going to grab my fall colors, right? So let's grab some of those. And I like to paint dark to light. So that's kind of where I'm, I'm going to stay focused with. Um, here we go. There's my orangey tone. This is, I, I always call this orange crush, but it's actually called summer crush. And I make that mistake all the time. I even wrote it on here incorrectly. This is called summer crush. And this is a beautiful, beautiful, um, it's perfect for 
any of your fall colors. I know a lot of you are creators. Hi, Mary. I know a lot of you are creators out there. And you're creating for festivals and different places that, are, that you're going to be set up and selling. Um, this is a great, great color for all of your fall, um, whether it's art or crafts or whatever you have going on. So you want to write Summer Crush down on your must-have list. Here. Now, I do want to be careful. This is still pretty wet. So I want to be really careful not to smush my orange into my green, okay? That right there is going to get a muddy mess on your hands. So um, if you are trying this at home and you're not real sure if you can stay in between the lines um, or in between the the green, I would just wait for this to dry. And that is actually a really, really great quality that I love about the DIY paint brand, which is the clay-based paint. It dries really, really fast. So right now I'm kind of just fanning it a little bit and it's already kind of halfway, halfway dry. Now, the thing about painting on a screen is I do paint a little bit thicker on a screen, so it might take a little, little longer than my usual for that to dry. Okay, let's go on to my next color. And Summer Crush, let's put some colors in here. So you can kind of think about what flowers you want to add to your little wreath. Um, you can make kind of make up your own flower. You can do little rosettes if you want to. Um, I think what I'm going to do are kind of like maybe kind of like the Black Eyed Susans. Um, Are they orange? Somebody help me. Or are they yellow? I can't remember. I think they're more like a, a little bit of an orangey tone. And I can add a little bit of yellow to them. Somebody help me. Is that correct? Am I correct on the Black Eyed Susans? Good. Kind of have a daisy shape to them, right? 60 for, 65th birthday. Oh my goodness, what a wonderful birthday gift, right? It's really awesome. So I'm being really careful not to smush. Somebody help remind me of the colors of the Black Eyed Susans. Do you, do you know what, what I'm talking about? Love them. They're so pretty. And they're pretty easy to grow, if I'm not mistaken. Even I can do that. So with a daisy-shaped like flower, I'm making sure that it's a little bit thinner towards the center. And as I come out, the petals are a little bit thicker as you come towards the edge. Let's do one here. So I'm just kind of filling in wherever I see. <laughs> I'm looking and I think yellow. Okay, we will add, I'm going to add yellow to this. So right now I'm going to add the orange tone. And then I'll add a little bit of yellow to it. Okay. And those will be perfect colors mixed together, I think. So when you're painting on screen, you might have to do a few layers because they are, they are pretty uh, transparent and you're going through the screen. So yeah, a yellow orange. Yeah, I think it'll be perfect by the time I mix it. So if you look at the back, you'll see that it, it does tend to push through the back a little bit. But 
I think it'll be perfect once we get our yellow meshed in and I think it will just naturally mesh in together, right? So painting on screens are just very easy, you guys. I'm going to go over the screen. So if you do have to go over like I am with the green, because I want it to be on the outside, I'm not going to move my brush back and forth, because if I move my brush back and forth over top of that wet green, it will create mud. So basically, I loaded my brush unloaded it right on top of that green. It's kind of thick, but I didn't get mud, okay? So it's like a fine line you gotta walk there, huh? So I'm thinking, uh, what else should I add after I get the Black Eyed Susans? What else should I add? You think of some fall, kind of a fall color that I could add, flower, maybe, um, maybe we want to do you know, something like a purpley tone might look good. So I love purples and orange tones together. So when you're building um, a painting, you want to think about the colors that you've used, what colors would... Um, complementary to it um, and kind of make your decisions from there and think about like what is in season if we're going to do a fall theme like what purple tone flower could we add that actually exists or we can make up our own that's a good thing about painting is you can make up your own flowers because I love blue flowers but there are not very many blue flowers out there um, but I do sometimes like to paint um, just kind of dreamy blue flowers. So it's kind of up to you. Um, you do have choices when you're painting and you're creating art, right? Um, so we have used um, Monet's Garden. Then we switched over to Summer Crush, all of the yummy, yummy clay-based paint from DIY Paint. Um, now I'm going to switch over to, let's do, a little bit of cake batter. I'm going to mix a little cake batter, which is another yummy paint from the clay-based DIY line. And I'm going to just see about, if we can add some of that in. Mix it. It's kind of pretty. It's kind of doing like a, just like a automatic kind of an ombre kind of a finish. Um, mixing that in while it's wet. I'm going to grab my other brush. Try different brushes, see what works. If you don't like it, you can always go back. So I'm trying to decide if what brush stroke I like best. But these colors look really pretty together. Oh, and one thing you can do, you guys, with the DIY paint, if you want it to thicken up, all you have to do is open up a little bit, 
pour it in a little separate um, plate or a little tray and just let it dry out a little bit. It'll automatically thicken up. You don't have to add any kind of additive to it or anything. It just takes a little bit. So um, like if you know you're going to be painting um, later on that day, um, and you know you want a specific color used, you can go ahead and pour it out. Now, if it gets too dry on you, you just simply add water and just kind of remix it, and you're good to go, okay? So this is what we have so far. It's pretty sweet already, isn't it? Even though it's just a very simple... Hello, Facebook user. I'm not sure who that is, but hello to you. Whoever said, hey, Kelly. Um, you have to give StreamYard permission for me to see your name. So you, or you can just type who you are. But I think it's really cute already. And it's just very, I've done very little. You guys, the fun thing, excuse me, about painting on screen is I kind of like the back too because it's kind of abstract, isn't it? It's a little bit abstract back there. I kind of like that. All right, so we're gonna leave that like that. And let's see, do I have any layered chocolate? Let's see, this is pretty thick, so we're gonna see if I can get any of this out of here. I might have to pull it out. I have to pull it out with a knife. Looks like, look at that, really thick. See that? Really thick. It almost looks like, it does look like chocolate. It looks like a brownie mix. So, no, I will not be eating it though. As tempting as it is. All right. I'm just going to use this knife that I have and I'm going to tap in. Using the rounded part of the top of the little tip of this, I'm just going to tap it in. Do not make perfect circles when you're doing this, you guys, okay? Um, but it's not really how it looks. There, you, you won't usually see a perfect circle. So make them all kind of different shaped. Um, centers. And this is extremely thick, but you can see how that just kind of makes it pop. Asters, dahlias, lavender, thistle for purple. Thank you. See, now I gotta sit here and think about like how they all look. Well, I, I think I could do lavender pretty easily, have them like sprigged out. That would be pretty, right? I think there are the asters are those mums. I could do purple mums. Um, so we have some choices, right? We like choices. I could also go in and use um, like some of the red tones. Um, let's see, what do we have? That one's dried up. Let's see. Let's see what we did, what happens here. Just adding a little bit of this fire starter. Smaller than mums, but yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit of fire starter in with some of the leaves. I'm not I don't want to do a lot because I don't want it to take over from away from the flowers, but we'll add just a little touch. 
Still using all of the orange tones. Um, I could probably even work in a little bit of the coral, which would be cowgirl coral. Love that color. If you do not have cowgirl coral um, in your, oh goodness, I'm getting this all over my, my dress. My black dress now has little dots on it. <laughs> Cowgirl coral is beautiful. And you can mix it in with so many different um, themes and colors and, and especially those of you that like to do um, flowers, like you can mix them in. So I'm just, a little bit of coral into some of these leaves that I've added. So as the leaves turn different colors, you'll see a lot of different, like, you'll see them turn a little yellow, you'll see them turn orange tone, and then they'll turn like a corally tone all right before they turn a brown, a brown tone, and I love that, it's so pretty. So this is how it's looking so far. You can see all the little touches that I've added to the leaves. Right. Very good. Let's see, now I need to decide. I don't know if I have any marquee. Marquee would be perfect. So I don't have any marquees, maybe. marquee out guys that would be the perfect red that I need to see if I can get this open oh. marquee is like a burnt red So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Kissing Booth with um, put a tad of, let me add a little brown to that and see what happens there. Hmm, that's really pretty. Okay, this is giving me a really, really, almost like the color of um, black cherry. And that would be, I mix a little bit of the layered chocolate in with Kissing Booth, and it's giving me this really pretty, pretty deep, um, kind of a black cherry kind of a look. So, so I will do... little kind of mums or whatever with that. Not pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Oh. If, if you haven't 
try painting on screen. It's very fun, you guys. It's quick and quick and fun and it's an easy little, easy, easy little project. Okay, so there's that, and I'm going to dip into just a little teeny cherry picked. That's exactly what it looks like is cherry picked, and that was layered chocolate mixed with Kissing Booth, okay? And it made this really, really deep um, yeah, black cherry or raisiny kind of a color. So I'm going to take my brush. I'm not cleaning it off at all, and I'm dipping into the existing color that I had on here called Cowgirl Coral. And we're just going to lighten. We're just going to lighten this up just a little bit. We're going to use it for a highlight. And we're going right over top of the little mums that we just painted, right? We painted those little, little mums with the dark cherry kind of a look. So we're just going in and adding some little teeny tiny little touches and it's mixing together beautifully. Now, let's say, let's say I have one that maybe got too light on, on me. Okay. Let's say I got one that's too light. I'm going to show you, let me show you what it looks like. Well, shop, isn't that pretty? All right. So let's just pretend that, like, oh no, it's too light. So I'm just going to dip right back into that um, dark cherry, um, kind of a wine kind of a color, and I'm going to just tap back in. If I need to go darker, I'm going to dip into my layered chocolate, right? And I'll just make some dark dark marks with the brown, right? So it's all about layering. I teach this in my Creators Club. It's all about layering. That's how you get um, just a little bit of a more cohesive look, I think, is when you start adding different layers. Okay. It is pretty, isn't it, Judy? All right. So, show you where it's looking so far. How it's looking. I think that the Black Eyed Susan's turned out pretty on point cuz it it has that golden yellow orange tone and that's exactly pretty much how they should look so okay so next i want to put um some kind of a lavender splash i think salvia is another another um floral that's out there and it has a purpley blue kind of a look so i think what i'm going to start with is Blue iris, and that's dried up, guys. It's so hot in here. Okay, I have more. I have more, don't worry. So I have some blue iris. This is the clay base. It's almost like a cobalt, like a bright cobalt kind of a blue. I am, Lisa, how are you? My goodness, so nice to see your face. Not seeing you in a minute. So I'm going to take the blue iris and I have dipped it into the paint and I have rolled my brush and I pull and I roll and that gives me a nice little point. I miss you too. Gives me a nice point. Let's see. There we go. That's how you get that point on there. And from there, I'm going to just kind of do these little, kind of little dot, 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 
pot and actually I'm going to dip in because remember I'm I'm painting on screen so it's not giving me you know, it's, it's completely different than painting on canvas so I kind of these little dots and we're following a line okay following a line but we're also putting dots on kind of both sides of the of the line and I'll, I'll give you a close-up here so if it helps you you can make your stem first your little line which would be your stem and then you can go in and start laying in your dots and you want to dot 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 on both both sides of that line okay let me give you a just a real quick look of what I did so far. Does that make sense? So we're going to do that. Um, and kind of what I'm looking for is anywhere that there's kind of like a little space or opening. This is kind of what we call kind of like filler. A little bit of like filler. But sometimes you guys, the, even though we're just calling this a little bit of filler, sometimes that's kind of what makes it kind of pop if you want to think about it. So I'm going to add a couple little sprigs here at the top and dot, 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 put that in. And if you need to go back over it, if you push too hard because it's on screen, you're going to push through. Okay, so just know that going in. But this would be a wonderful, wonderful little, um, cute little design to do for those of you that are hitting some of the fairs and some of the festivals that are coming for fall. I love a good fall festival. Don't you? So in around where we live, I know a lot of people go to the Backwoods Fest, um, but there is one in Lancaster that I went to. I actually sat up for, for it one year and it's at, um, it has all like this handmade um, items and like artists there there's potters there um, I love it I, actually my sister and I actually just attend it now we we like to go and shop <laughs> but it's great for those of you that are like me and let's say you have like a local store um, it kind of gives you some good ideas and sometimes you find um, local creators that you can um, collaborate with or uh, maybe maybe get their items in your store and it's good to go and um, get inspiration on displays and setup and all that type of thing so um, just just remember if you're in the creative business just because you're going to these places don't feel guilty. It is part of your job. Um, oh, goodness. It says, I hope I have enough power. Hold on, guys. Let me check. Um, I have 5%. I'm going to have to go plug in. So give me one second. I'm going to go plug in so I don't lose you. So give me one moment. It's been one of those days, guys. I'll give you a close up while you're waiting on me to come back. One second.
Wow. Really like it, you guys. I always tell uh, my art students, I always tell them to walk away from your art and come back. And it, man, does it help because when I just now walked away and came back, I was like, oh, that's pretty stinking cute. I was thinking, hello, Facebook user. I'm not, I'm not sure who you are, but hello to you, whoever said hello. But yeah, pretty cute, right? Okay, so my next move, you guys, is, um, I think, actually, I need to add one more little sprig of the... Blue iris there. Okay, let's add need a little sprig coming out this way. And tap, tap, tap. So easy. This will be up on my website for those of you that want a cute little painting. Um, these are just these are just quick little paintings that I do on the screen so they're not too 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 involved but wow does that blue iris really make it pop right hello Sue thank you for letting me know who was there appreciate that okay so next we're gonna lighten we're gonna put some highlights on all of that blue iris, which the perfect highlight for that, you can either add a little bit of white, which would be like beadboard. You could add beadboard directly into the blue iris paint, or even better, you can use water lily. Water lily and blue iris are like magical together. So that's my next move. So how many of you out there think that you could try this? I think you could. And I think you could put your own spin on it too for, for fall, right? So we're just gonna go right back over and dot, 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 right over top of some of the blue iris and it's just going to pull that color up and it's going to make it look like it's highlighted a little bit. One of my favorites as well. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All the yeses, right? It's just a, it's just a stunning, stunning, stunning color. Simple. It's actually a color. I'm thinking about painting my um, my island at home. This blue iris color would be so pretty. So I'm just kind of um, scumbling around, for lack of a better word, putting these little highlights and little dots in, right? One thing that I'm noticing on this is the, the mums are really, that I put in there, are maybe a little bit darker than I want them. So I'm probably going to, I'm thinking about my next move which would be maybe to go in and lighten those up just a smidgen, okay? Um, for those of you that, if you love art as much as I do, and as passionate about it as I am, and you wanna learn different techniques, I do have the Creators Club, um, and it's a private group that I teach, and it will be opening up in August, um, at least by the end of August, I'll have it open back up to new members. And you can come paint with an amazing group of ladies. And it is a lovely, lovely, safe, creative space to create in. And very supportive. Um, these ladies are very near and dear to my heart. And I'm 
honored to call many of them friends now. Um, I've gotten to know quite a few of them and I just love them. Um, let's see, my lower kitchen cabinets are blue iris. Who said that? Is that Sue again? Oh my goodness, how beautiful is it? Do you just love it? I just, just think I would just love it as well. So I am so ready to redo my kitchen. Okay, so look how that blue, the blue just pops, doesn't it? Just pops. All right, so like I said, my next move, I really think I need to hit, hit um, a little, some little brighter tones on there. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Okay. Found a solution. I don't, I don't think this is marquee. This might be carnival red. I don't have this marked, unfortunately. It looks like it looks a little bit brighter than marquee, but I can, if I want to deepen it, I could I could add a little bit of the layered chocolate to it and that would tone it down just a little bit. But I think this will do the job. What do you think? Oh yeah, that popped it right up, didn't it? I can only imagine how beautiful that blue iris is on your on your um, island. My poor house has just been been so busy with the business lately that I've kind of neglected updating things. So I'm ready. I'm ready to get things updated and things freshened up, you know? You know how it is after a few years. <laughs> All right. Boy, that really did help, didn't it? Okay. To say, I'm loving that. So it was just brought it up just enough. Let me hold this white behind it. I still, I feel like it probably needs a little bit of add some lighter green which is apothecary and I think that will brighten up my leaves just a smidge okay thank you so much oh you're talking about your um yeah I can only imagine I bet it is pretty talk about your island love it do you, so on your island, did you add anything to it? I'm wondering. Let's just add like some different colored leaves in here too, okay. Just a touch, I don't wanna like like take it to spring but but I do want to kind of put some highlights and just a touch light touch to some of the leaves gorgeous it's not chalk paint what is it It's not blue iris then. So it's just a cobalt, the cobalt blue. I think it would do, I think that the clay-based paint would be fine. 
on my island. And then I, I think I may use Jamie Ray's paint, which I sell all of that, you guys, by the way. Jamie Ray's new um, one-step leveling paint. I might do that on my cabinetry. And then, um, oh, that really helped, didn't it? It's blue iris color. Oh, got ya. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. It's a beautiful color. I'm liking where this is going. So what you can do um, with this is if you wanted to put a spray seal on it, you could, or you could just leave it matte. I don't always think that it's always necessary to, to have to add um, you know, you don't always have to add uh, sealers and, and whatnot too. I'm just adding some little like little lines like maybe maybe there's some little twirlies. Let's add some little squiggles to it. Like there's some little vines or something sticking out. Let's do that. So I'm using the very, very tip of my brush to add these little squigglies. Teeny, teeny, tiny movement, you guys. Little, tiny. Little, tiny movements. Oh, my stomach just growled. Must be, must be dinner time, huh? I've been living on Twizzlers today, which is probably not good. Oh, sugar. Why does sugar have to be so bad for us, guys? Somebody answer me that. All right. I think this is looking good. I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy with it. It's really popping. But you guys can have fun with it. I mean, you could put, you know, you could write a word in the middle, although it might be a little difficult on the screen, but you get the, get the drift. And I do want to show you um, what this looks like. And this is what it looks like when you, because it's on screen, so this is kind of what it looks like. And it'll take on whatever background. And I think it actually looks really, like it's almost glowing with a dark background. So let's see my dark um, dress that's behind it. Look how that just pops. Thank you. So I have a black dress or shirt on behind it. So that just kind of tells you how pretty that would look um, even in the evening. Right, it's going to kind of almost glow. Um, it's it kind of changes depending on where you place it and where you hang it and how much light is behind it, right? And here's what it looks like from behind, which I think is kind of fun. Um, it's kind of abstract from behind, but um, I've told you guys probably this story before that. Um, I just found it interesting when I started painting on screen, I didn't even know it was a thing and it was a thing. And back in the day, they used to hire artists from, um, you know, the, in their town to paint designs on their screen so that they could have more privacy and they could leave their curtains open their curtains um, open and the screens down in the evening and still get a breeze coming through. But yet the artwork that was on top of the screen um, just kind of gave them a little more privacy, but yet still let the air kind of flow through. So I just thought that was really interesting. And, um, you know, and that was, that was actually a thing that the artist did back in the day. So if I was born earlier in life, 
and still have the talent that I have now, I would be able to go door to door and maybe have different jobs painting at people's homes, which I just think that would be, that's really interesting. So it's so funny how things um, go around, um, you know, from year to year as the years passed. And uh, now it's just something we do for art and something fun. So if you have any questions at all, um, please reach out. And like I said, I have the Creators Club that will be opening up sometime in August, at least by the end of August. And we create there all the time, every Tuesday. And we would love to have you there, part of our community. Um, and uh, as always, you can find all kinds of interesting things um, here on YouTube. So um, I have more edited videos that will be coming your way soon that I think you're going to really enjoy. Um, somebody is saying, I think that's Sue, she is saying, I'll have to show you shade screen and a sewing machine, what I did. I would love to see that, Sue. I would love it. But I hope you enjoyed this little painting, and I will talk to you all very soon. You can find all the products at girlupcycledstudio.com find all the amazing clay based paint there you will love it it's all natural if you have not tried it give it a try and let me know how you like it all right thanks everybody bye bye